I'm very anxious as a guy. If you don't have anxiety, that just means like I feel fear where most people feel nothing. Like recently I'm walking by a bar, there's a sign outside the bar. It said, ladies night, ladies drink 50% off. And I was like, that's creepy. They're just trying to lure women in by offering them a discount. And women were going in. I was like, no, that's how they get you. Is if you go, in, like I'm Jewish, okay? If I ever saw a sign outside of a bar <laughs> that said Jew night, Jews drink 50% off. I'm not going in that bar. <laughs> Bad things happen to Jews in that bar. I'm certainly not gonna go and celebrate the way they went, woo, it's Jew night. <laughs> it's for us tonight, Jews. <laughs> Shalom, bitches. <laughs> Some Christian girl hits on me, I'm like, stop, it's Jew night. <laughs> I just wanted to dance with my Jews for one night. I'd go, it's 50% off. <laughs> I am Jewish at the end of the day. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> That's what anxiety, it, it infects every aspect. Like dating, I'm anxious when I'm dating. Because it's all dating apps now and it's, it scares me. The first time I logged on to a dating app, this is what I saw, it was a picture of a woman, and it, that's not what scared me. <laughs> Ew, what the hell, get that out of here, creepy. This is what scared me, it was the information I had about this, it said Sarah Bushwick, 5'7", Caucasian. I was like, is she missing? Why do I, <laughs> why do I need that information? I felt like the next line was gonna be like, last scene heading west on 4th Street, in a gray hoodie. <laughs> Which, by the way, not even that bad of an idea to put missing women on dating apps. <laughs> I'm just saying, who's more motivated than like horny guys? We might actually find some of these women. Not every woman should be missing, that would be crazy. I'm saying, every 10th woman, <laughs> you know, on the off chance a guy sees it, <gasps> she's cute, she shares my interest, she's missing. <laughs> Not for long. I'm on the case. <laughs> Walking outside with a boner, Sarah, where are you? <laughs> Going up to girls in gray hoodies. What's your biggest turn on? Pff, you're not Sarah. <laughs> Hers is freedom. <laughs> also, why do they have the height of the win? I don't care, dude. I don't give a fuck. Put shit I need to know on the app. Yeah, one time I went on a date with a woman from a dating app. On the date, she told me she heard voices in her head that told her to hurt other people. Put that on the fucking app. Scorpio, who gives a fuck? She's a psycho. That should be one of the things. You know how they're like, weed sometimes, pills sometimes. There should be like a knife sometimes. That's too often for me. Sometimes it's too often. It's hard to date. I don't know what people want, you know? Women have, cause you know, here's two things I know about women. They, I know, cause I was asking my friend recently, I was like, what do you like in a guy? And she was like, I like like a tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought there was gonna be more there. I, I paused, I was like, and? And she was like, and, it, and I, I don't want it to seem like he's gonna kill me. <laughs> I was like, that's such a low bar. <laughs> Just a big guy who's not violent. That's it, which is also self-contradictory. Why go for a tall guy if you don't want him to kill you? She's basically like, I want someone who could kill me, but wouldn't. Like that, she sees a short guy, she's like, he couldn't even kill me if he tried. It's disgusting. When a guy couldn't murder me, it's such an ick. <laughs> but guys, we're creepier, because I do like a woman who's shorter than me, which is weirder if you think about it. <laughs> I'm basically like, look, I'm not gonna kill her, but I have to be able to if it comes to that. That's gotta be on the table. When a woman could kill me, that's such an ick. It really is. Anyway, I, uh, I'm doing good right now. I'm not anxious right now because, uh, you know, we're doing great. As a country, it's, it's going amazing. Like, <laughs> you know, like this election is awesome for president. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying we got two great candidates and <laughs> no matter who wins, we win, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm kidding, they both fucking suck. They're both literally, it is kind of funny how bad they suck. 
It's the two worst possible options for the most important decision of all time. It's like, who do you want to get married to, a rabid dog or a dead woman? <laughs> what? Is there not a third option? Libertarian. You're like, fuck, there's only two options. That sucks. I wish there was a third one. I will say, I voted for Biden last time. I do think before the election last time, we can all agree, whoever you voted for, they definitely undersold just how much dementia. <laughs> he had, we knew he had some. We didn't realize it was like, watch out, those are stairs. You could die on those level of dementia. And look, here's the thing. I, I know he has dementia. I also, I hate when Republicans bring that up, you know? Mostly because I don't have a defense, so I just... I kind of wish they wouldn't, you know? <laughs> you know he has dementia, right? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Here you Your mom's a bitch, so who cares about the dementia? You probably have a small cock. <laughs> At least you can remember how big his cock is. <laughs> I don't know, I have nothing. <laughs> Here's the one thing, I will say this. It, sometimes the criticisms don't make sense because they say two things. They say he has dementia, which he does, but then they say he's doing a bad job. And I'm kind of like, you gotta pick one of the two, right? <laughs> it can't really be both at the same time. Because if he does have dementia, he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Just considering the dementia, you know? For a guy without dementia, a guy with dementia, fucking unbelievable, dude. He's killing it. He can sign bills with his name on them. That's impressive. You can't crit criticize him if he has dementia. You broke your promises. How's he gonna remember the, pre he has some dementia. <laughs> Cut him some slack, you know? I also, he's the first president I've related to, you know? First one ever. Fucking Obama, way too smooth. Trump, way too confident. Biden, I'm like, that's me, dude. That, like, <laughs> if I were the president, that's what I would be doing. Just messing up speeches in the middle. <laughs> Refusing to answer questions. Mr. President, Mr. President, I don't want to deal with that. I want to go to sleep. It's four. <laughs> Falling off a bike at a weird moment. That's, that's so me, dude. I don't want to defend him too hard. I think every politician, they, even him, they all have a team of people writing their own fucking opinions for them, except for Trump, I will say. He's kind of the one that you can. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying I like him. I'm just saying, love him or hate him, you have to admit with Trump, there's no team. <laughs> That's one guy <laughs> deciding what he thinks alone on stage in the moment. Just off the dome saying wild shit sometimes. <laughs> Grab him by the pussy and you're like, that's all him. I don't think, I don't think someone told him to say that. <laughs> There's not an advisor back to, you gotta say grab him by the pussy, Mr. Trump. The focus group loved it. <laughs> you guys are a great audience. Thank you all for coming out.